The other big story we've been working on all day, Rhode Island settlement with Kurt Schilling over the failed 38 Studios deal. The deal also includes several other major players in the 38 Studios saga that we've been tracking for years. And tonight, we've uncovered details of the deal from court documents, plus a response from Schilling himself. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the latest developments. So Kurt Schilling won't be paying any of his own money out of his pocket to the state of Rhode Island. He and three other 38 Studios executive executives took out an insurance policy to pay legal costs. That company will pay the state $2.5 million. Kurt Schilling and three other 38 Studios execs won't be on trial next month. They've settled with the state for $2.5 million. But Schilling may still take the stand in a Rhode Island courtroom. The settlement agreement says the four execs will make themselves available for testimony at the trial for the one remaining defendant in this case, financial advisor First Southwest. We were on a quest here to recover with certainty as much uh, money as we could to repay the taxpayers of the state of Rhode Island. Darren Early is the president of the Commerce Corporation, which sued Schilling and others after taxpayers were on the hook for millions from the 38 Studios deal. Schilling has repeatedly said he wants to tell the quote real story at trial, so we asked him why settle. On Twitter, he replied, after this is completed, what's stopping me from telling the whole story to the taxpaying citizens of Rhode Island? He said he'd likely do that on his radio show after the settlement is approved. Early says the state settled because their attorney said a trial would not have yielded more cash than the $2.5 million. Taxpayers are still on the hook for millions. We are laser focused on covering as much money as we can to allay part of that burden. And the settlement still needs to be approved by a judge. Coming up new at 6, what the mediator of this settlement said and didn't say about Kurt Schilling's personal assets. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Also at 6, Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau tells us how much of this settlement will end up covering legal fees. And we have in-depth coverage of the 38 Studio Saga online at WPRI.com. Eyewitness News continues to look out for your tax dollars with new details on a story we've been tracking now for years. A new settlement is reached in the 38 Studios lawsuit and included in that settlement, the founder of the failed video game company, Kurt Schilling. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has new details on the legal fees tied to this lawsuit. But first we get more on today's settlement and what it means for from Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado live in Providence. The judge who mediated this settlement isn't allowed to reveal details about Kurt Schilling's personal finances, but he did reveal how much money Kurt Schilling doesn't have and why the state settled with him instead of going to trial. When the state decided to settle with Kurt Schilling, their attorney looked into all his assets, including his new radio show, and determined he and the three other 38 Studios execs who settled don't have enough money for it to be worth it to go after them in a trial. This, according to the mediator of the settlement, Judge Francis Derrigan. Certainly the most controversial, I suppose, from the public's point of view, uh, would have been the assets of Mr. Schilling because of his celebrity and his success as a Major League Baseball player. Derrigan says the actual dollar values are confidential, but he said the state's lawyer, Thomas Carlotto, learned that Kurt Schilling and the three other defendants who settled today put together don't have $2.5 million. That's what an insurance policy will pay the state. Uh, Mr. Carlotto is convinced that the combined assets of the other parties would not even reach the $2.5 million level of the policy. So there won't be a trial for Kurt Schilling, but he did agree to testify at the upcoming trial for financial advisor First Southwest if he's asked. When it comes to telling taxpayers his side of the story, Schilling tweeted, it's been five years too long. They deserved the truth five years ago. It kills to wait, but you know how they operate. Now, there is no gag order on Schilling or any of the parties in this settlement, so he is free to tell his side of the story. Now, the state has now has also settled with lawyers and banks in the past, and they've recouped about half of the money they lost in the 38 Studios deal. Reporting live in Providence, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.